welcome welcome back to my channel i'm josette so i'm looking a little bit different here because my mom just cornrowed my locks back for me because today we're trying on a headband wig i am definitely not a wig person but the whole idea of a headband wig makes sense to me it's low maintenance i don't have to use any glue it has the possibility of looking cute so Hopefully this works out well. I'm making this video for any of you who are feeling, you know, not as confident if you have starter locks or baby locks, that whole phase where it's like frizzy, especially if your locks are really short. Now, by no means do you need a wig to cover your starter locks. I didn't wear a wig at all for the beginning of my journey, but I know that there's some people who do wear a wig for the beginning of their journey. And then when they get to the point where they're comfortable in their lock journey, then they take the wig off and rock their their locks, their natural hair. So these are for people who just want some more options. And also if you've ever been a little bit curious about what a headband wig looks like, I'm here to share this video with you. So anyway, let's just get into the footage of my mom braiding my hair down and then we'll come back. Okay, so as you can see, this is what the braids look like. I'm actually gonna put elastic bands. <laughs> I mean, they're kind of falling out here. So I'll just put elastic bands on the ends. This is what the braids look like. And I'll show you the, oh, I'll show you the back. So the next step is laying down my baby hairs. So I definitely have, I definitely recommend that you do this when you have new growth because the whole point of a headband wig is to see the front of your hair. And I'm also doing this right before wash day because I don't want to keep edge control in my hair for too long. But that's just a personal preference. So I have this edge uh, Kiss Edge Fixer Max Hold. I haven't done my edges in so long, so I don't even know how to do this anymore. But I think what I'm gonna do first is like comb it down. I'm just gonna, usually I don't put a lot, but for the purpose of this video, I'm really going to pile it on as much as I can. And then we'll try to slick it down. Okay. I'm trying to wet my hair as much as possible. I feel like the most important part with the headband wig is getting the edges right. This actually works out perfectly because I have postpartum hair loss. So like my whole perimeter kind of broke off and it's growing back in now. So I can use that hair as edges, even though it's just like breakage. Okay, what do you guys think? Does that look okay? I'm really not like a edges connoisseur, so I really don't know if that's, I think it looks okay. Maybe I should look at some edges on Pinterest. I brought this headband and I think they gave me one. So this is the company I got it from. 
It's called XSY, 100% human hair. I got this on Amazon because I didn't want to spend a bunch of money, especially if I don't like it I'll never, and I will never wear it. I ordered this on Amazon as well. It's like a sparkly one. If this looks good, I might wear this on New Year's. Um, I have a wig cap, which I'm about to put on. They also gave me these really dramatic lashes, which I will never wear, but I think I can give them to my sister because she does cosplay. So I'll leave that for her. And then they gave me this headband which is not bad and then this is the hair so I got curly um, or wavy curly because I figured it would look a bit more natural and I got I think 20 inches not too long not too short but the hair itself honestly looks really pretty I was surprised that this was from Amazon um, I didn't see nice options like this in Canada I'm currently in the US so I ordered this from amazon.com not amazon.ca but this is what the hair looks like it's definitely more brown I feel like to match my hair perfectly I would have to dye this black but obviously we're not doing that now if I like this wig a lot and I'll actually wear it then I will go ahead and dye it with the adore black velvet but it definitely has like a red undertone and even has strands of copper which it didn't show on Amazon so keep that in mind it looked black on Amazon. So. And this is a lot. I have pretty thick hair. So this wig cap doesn't even seem like it's going to get on my head. Yeah. Look at that. It's literally not going to get on my head. So I'm going to have to. Like it's. No. No. They make the wig caps way too small for people with thick hair, which means I'm just going to have to put the wig on over my braids because I literally can't. Oh, <laughs> maybe that's why it's too. I'm trying to stretch it. Let's see if that makes a difference. But it literally look at that. All right, so it has the band at the back with velcro it has you know the usual four combs inside um one on each side and then at the back and the front so it has this band here so let's see if this even fits i'm just going to try and put this further back on my head and then I'll use a headband to cover that. Okay, I got the hair on. You can definitely kind of see the bulging. So the hair itself is really soft. I don't like how these curls look, but then when I put my hands through it, it just gets frizzy. So I'm gonna have to use water. There is some shedding already. Okay, so when you wet the hair a lot, it looks so pretty, but I am getting quite a bit of shedding. I don't know if you can see that. I think if I had mousse as well, it would be even better. I'm gonna put the headband on. This kind of matches my shirt. Okay. It would be even better if I had more new growth. Okay, so yeah, I just added a bit more water and I did, oh, I'm out of breath, I just came up the stairs. I did a high ponytail to kind of mask or cover the bulges here. So yeah, that's it. What do you guys think? I think for my first time doing this, it turned out pretty well. 
What do you guys think? And if you have even more new growth than I do, like that time just before you retie, this would be even better because you wouldn't see like the, the locks at all. Now I will say it is quite snug. I guess I could adjust it a little bit to make it looser. So we'll see how long I can keep this on. But that's it. That's the finished look. I think it's pretty cute. I will link below this hair in case you're interested in trying it out. There are a bunch of different lengths available. And yeah, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoy it. This is kind of fun to do. I think it's pretty cute. So yeah, that's it for this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.